It's your girl, Dia. And your girl, Key. With another episode of Champagne Mornings, where we give you a whole lot real early in the morning. And you might need some champagne with it. We're going to start this show off with a segment like we do every day called It's Too Early for This. Key, you got something for us? I got some shit for y'all. Okay. Okay. So, first off, a FedEx driver got called, once to deliver a package, got called a racial slur and knocked the nigga out so hard he killed him. Well, you know, you should probably watch who you're saying that shit to. And he won't be charged. That's good. That makes me happy. I don't think I should be so happy somebody's not getting charged. But I'm happy he's not getting charged for that. Because you guys can't think it's okay to be disrespecting and calling us racial slurs and shit. Mm -hmm. I do just think the dude swung first and that's how he got off on it. Because he didn't mean to kill him. It it said that the dude actually hit him first and he hit him back. And then when he dropped it, I seen that article because I was like, oh, wow, that's pretty crazy. Um, I was hella glad that he didn't get charged as well. But then I was thinking about it like to some aspect, they had to protect the business, too. Right. Because he was on the course of business. He was working for FedEx. Mm -hmm. Not the one who died. The other one. Yeah. The one who killed him, basically. He punched him. So, I mean, that's definitely a good thing for sure. Yeah. It says he threw he hurled a bag of food at Warren. Before he threw a punch that missed. And then got knocked. And got knocked the fuck out. By knocked the fuck out, we mean dead. Quit <laughs> <laughs> making it He's sound dead. so horrible. It's over. <laughs> he died. Talking about situations, this is something I actually wasn't going to say right now, but it kind of fits with the story you picked. Mm-hmm. About just picking fights with the wrong people. Yeah. So there was um, in Granada Hills, California. Mm-hmm. Um, the, they were going through a custody. So this girl went to go get her son back from her baby's dad. Mm-hmm. Custody, you know, custody exchange after the weekend, whatever. So when she went to go get her son back, her and her baby's dad got into an argument. So they were sitting there arguing. And then the baby's dad spotted the girl's new boyfriend in a car further down the street. So the baby's dad gets in his car goes and rams into the car that the baby dad was sitting, I mean, that the boyfriend was sitting in, and the boyfriend got out and shot him. I mean, what the fuck is you ramming into a car for the nigga for? He was minding his own business, doing what he was supposed to do. He was letting you argue with his girlfriend. He didn't even come over there and be and like, flex. Hey, you better leave my girlfriend alone before I fuck you up. Like, he didn't do none of that. He was minding his own business. Which a lot of niggas would have. Like, they would have popped off the minute you popped off on they bitch. Facts. Most would. You Most know? is going to pop off the moment you pop off on that bitch. He was minding his own business. He was uh, doing what we should all practice a little more of, you know. Right. Minding being our real, own business. Yeah, being real chill. He was probably mm-hmm. in there. He was probably already in there mad just watching the interaction in general. You know he had a blunt lit watching that dumb <laughs> shit. He was like, man, this nigga got me fucked. No, he ain't have no blunt lit. They would have took his ass to jail. LAPD would have been like, He oh, swallowed that, that, that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit got swallowed. The worst part of that story, though, is that the seven-year-old son was there. That sucks. And that she now has to deal with that. Like, did the dude die? No, he's in critical condition, though. Oh, he'll make it. He'll learn a life lesson. It reminds me of that meme that was like, don't you ever just want to kill somebody and bring them back to life? Like, stop doing dumb shit. It said he's not expected to live. Mm-hmm. Nigga, what do you need to be chill, though? It didn't say. Well, it don't ram your car into somebody. Car and he shot him. So he, I don't I mean, feel. I don't really feel bad because you shouldn't have rammed your car into no nigga buying his business. He was minding his business down the street. First off. How what? did you spot him listen, down the street? Listen, I have a baby's dad. He dropped my son off, especially at seven years old. I mean, my son's eight right now. Mm-hmm. My son walk in the house. That's it. That. You know, when he comes to pick him up, I look outside. Oh, he's there. Yeah, go. That's he it. He goes. That's it. That's all that needed to be done. What are you even arguing with her about? Because niggas is stupid. That's ridiculous. Niggas is controlling and possessive as shit. He probably deserves to be shot. He probably beat her at least once. <laughs> If it's that bad. If it's that bad, I feel like he swung on her at least once. That's crazy. Anyways. um, I still got another one. Okay. You wasn't ready for this one. I wasn't. A Florida man tried to pull over an undercover cop while pretending to be a cop. Oh, that's hilarious. Was it a, uh, so (laughs) what kind of car was the undercover? Did it say what kind of car the undercover was in? It doesn't say 
First off, me and you have literally been in the car together when we watched a real undercover try to pull over another undercover. I was going to tell that story. Like, you know, with me? Yeah. Oh, that was so funny. <laughs> like, that shit was crazy. She just was funny. And Shalicia just looked at it. Her jaw just dropped. And she doing her, threw on her cruise control. <laughs> like, she was oh. like, oh, you got me. I said, but, he just tried to pull over the undercover. The undercover had the flash. It's lights like, hey. Like, nigga, it's me. Right. The fuck? <laughs> that was the funniest interaction ever. I wish I would have. But it doesn't say what kind of car uh, the cop was in. Okay. It does say that the fake undercover was in a 2007 white Chevy Trailblazer. Like, I don't even see how you was pretending to be an undercover. A trailblazer? It's white. At least all undercovers are blacked out. I've never seen an undercover not blacked out. I've seen an Except the pickup truck out. I seen, but it was a pickup truck. Like, I'm still trying to wrap my head around that shit. I seen a minivan one time. Nigga, the minivan pulled me and gave me a whole fuck. I was so, I'm, man, I did get free. pulled over by a Tahoe. My feelings were hurt. Back when they first got the Tahoes, my feelings were real hurt. Did you like the Tahoes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, when the minivan pulled me over, I won't forget it because I had just slowed up. And watch the uh, Charger pull over somebody else because we were speeding. Both of us hitting like 90. It was like 4 a.m. Well, I know. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so the Trailblazer pulls over. I mean, not the Trailblazer. The Charger pulls over the other person. And I was like, oh, I'm good. So I go back to speeding. Nigga, I'm trying to get home. Back to my bed. Yeah. That minivan. Flipped that lights on real quick. I said, oh, you got me fucked up. It's always the worst when you think you're getting away and you're not. Like the time I got pulled over by the helicopter. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> I'm not even about to go into that story. No, we going into that okay. story. So this bitch is speeding with like six other people on her way to Spokane. Other... Oh, no, there was like six me? other cars, wasn't there? Because you guys all got stopped, I thought. Three of us. Okay, three over. cars. These motherfuckers thought they was getting away with speeding. The helicopter stops, uh, finds them, and then there's a cop like at a, basically a checkpoint. This nigga created his own checkpoint for these three. Basically, yeah. He pulled us both. He pulled two of us over first because we were riding side by side. We had actually already slowed down a little bit to come around the curve because, you know, you never know. Right. Come around the curve and then there's a cop that's sideways in the road on a two lane highway. Sideways in the road. So then we slow all the way down because what are you going to do? Ram into the cop car, you know? So we hit our brakes. He pulls us both over. And then when he comes to the window, he's like, the helicopter's been following for the last five miles. We have your speeds listed as 98, 99, 103. Like, it just literally made my speeds for, like, the last five miles. And I'm looking at him, and in my head, I'm like, yeah, that nigga was really following me. <laughs> <laughs> he right. I, I remember because I had to drop yeah, that right nigga there, was really and I went back me. up. Yeah, yeah, he was following me for real. Anyways, I was so mad. I was in a rental car, had insurance and all of that, so I felt a little safe. Um, let's just be happy. Safe you had enough, your to, safe right enough to get a. I never lost my license ever since I've gotten my license. You didn't get your license for hella, bro. I, listen, you didn't get your license until you, you were great, greatly in Spokane, weren't you? Like, you was all settled and shit. Okay, can we not bring up old shit? <laughs> the point is, <laughs> I'm just saying. since I got my license, <laughs> I have not lost but my you license. You was three cars in before you got a license. <laughs> I don't like her this morning. You know what? We're going to go ahead and play some music. <laughs> we're going to play some music, and then we're going to bring in a special guest. His name is Bernard. He writes comic books. He's an author. He is a black entrepreneur, and we're going to let him come on the show, talk about some things that he do all about himself right after this music break. So that should be fun. This is Book Wednesdays, of course, for anybody who doesn't normally watch Champagne Mornings. And if you're listening to this, not live on the radio, if you're catching, if you are going to be one of the ones catching this later on YouTube or Facebook or wherever you choose, make sure you download a free app called TuneIn so that you can listen to us live. Search Street Plug Radio. Make sure you give us a little heart so that you favorite our station and we'll pop right up for you. Um, and if you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. We're going to go ahead and play this next song. Um, the next song that is on this list is Celestial by Matt Q. Migo and Tizzle Castellano. Yeah, nigga. 2019 shit, man. We popping shit all year long, nigga. We gon' keep this shit. Yeah. Dream come true. Shout out, man. Shout out, Kill. Hey, Big man. Man, I come in with the intro, please, bro. Yeah. 
This is my introduction in 2019 to the new year. Ain't no resolution. My people just want some new gear. Wow, young niggas be thugging. Ain't nothing to do here. Shout out to YB Booster, Splash, and CMF Trill. Lil' Tracy going in with the verses. So is Mac J. Woo been going crazy with money, but so is Mac Trey. I'ma be like me to you niggas. And I got Drake, but mine got an O at the end. That's the new K. I ain't gonna explain to the pussy. I'ma slug it out. You can catch me late in your bushes. Like I'm hanging out. We ain't lose a draw. I'm a soldier. And I won't quit. But if my time up, I'ma go out not on some dumb shit. Kids have been a champ. I remember when we was so cold. 3 not 10 your label. It's love. Shout out to Tino. Fest the fucking with me. I'm with it. Skizzo and PZ too. I'ma keep my cool and say fuck them. I love my freedom too. Niggas chasing clout. What I'm chasing, I'm trying to split with you. Migo got a story to tell. That's what you listening to. Since I'm in the shine on my ground while the people think we sleep. Thugging all in public. My niggas that's called HBE. Watching for the haters and snake while I'm wishing on the star. Playing possum on the moving slow like I was on the bar. Pillar talking crazy, but niggas be quick to shoot a shot. Smooth operator be moving like I control the spot. HB shit, nigga. Smooth operator be moving like I control the spot. Smooth operator be moving like I control the spot. Smooth operator be moving like I control the spot. Nigga. Yeah. Smooth operator be moving like I control the spot. I'm wishing on the star. Stop. I'm praying for a break. break. You dreaming about a car. Cut. You tricking on a bitch. bitch. I'm stuck between whole shit. Yeah. So I gave them dope shit. shit. I guess I'm a straight dog. Cause niggas said they go. 44 like potus. Nigga, I'm so potent. I don't like these niggas. Get, get that boy a rope slit. I want to get high tonight. Nobody needs to die tonight. Me and Kissel back again. Good time dynamite. Yeah, this that 731 shit. Niggas want that dumb shit. So I'ma get them crunk, bitch. Music conversation. These niggas debating. Say it louder for the niggas in the back. Hey, hey, give me my respect while I, I run these bands up. Do I got a problem with these niggas going next? Them Camaro, it's blue, no SS, but I passed them. Range Rover, all white, guess who's left? And to the bank, but I don't make no withdrawals. I got them pissed off, I got this bitch draws. Take three, do they hate me? Maybe. Shout out my nigga, Q me go in the HBE. Heartbreak kid, sweet chin music. I ain't fucking with these niggas, F in music. They are not speaking my language, they are not fluent. I I got so many charges, square them out, congruent. Big up to my lawyer, all my charges dismissed. Why the fuck you with me? Get out my business. Call my cousin style, don't leave no witness. Kill them all while I kill this. Don't give a fuck how much you hate, you gotta feel this. Me and my niggas came up with all this realness. I got so much shade in my room, but I won't spill it. Got your bitch feeling cap of niggas, cause she kneeling. You sadly mistaken, nigga. Why the fuck you hating, nigga? I don't want no bacon, nigga. I said I'm a lakin', nigga. No, I'm not a Muslim, nigga. Cross them over, sugar, nigga. You niggas can see me, even if you pay to book me, nigga. Yeah, you overlook me, nigga. Probably got you sugar, nigga. I don't give a fuck if that's your cookie. It's cooking, nigga. You say you the real, but you just a pussy, nigga. Who that that took out that on that beat? I see you looking, nigga. Who did that check out there on that beat? I see you licking. <laughs> so let me talk my shit. I'm wishing on. It's Castellano, Mr. I can get you hit. This cake clip look like a common Nostradamus. How I prophesy. Strategize every move made. Make sure you profit him before you make a move with that cake. Make sure you cock it if I get on. I'm never looking back. It's hard, but I ain't cooking crack. It's like God gave me a heart, but then he took it back. Ten man, I've been saying them niggas ain't gonna ride. And if they take me out, them niggas ain't gonna slide. So it's just me and I. One D, two clubs, three minutes to find my way out. If I don't sleep three weeks, I probably could grind my way out of this hell hole I grew up in. Escape from all the traumas, trying to live above the water, but I'm swimming. With piranhas, Michael Phelps, I'm back, stroke with it. Trap, I'm back, dope with it. With the flow, some like to go with it. Two, three, do you and I'ma do me, cause I'm good at it. Toss me with the lions, I bring food back. Like, what can you do with that? Shit, nothing if one let you eat. I know you see the police killing niggas every day, but you won't never speak. Can't say that I won't, can't say that I don't. I pray that I won't catch a hollow, try and save all my folk, so stay woke. Can't see the forest, all the trees in the way. They be like, yo, I think the leaves in the way. They follow me because I'm leading the way straight into paradise. And if you want that money, then you just gon' have to sacrifice the time for Because the rich keep getting richer The blind leading the blind Like they can't see the bigger picture I drop pain in my rhymes But for me ain't no prescription I just smoke to ease my mind While meditating to break connection It's simple with my mind, body, and soul I manifest it If it's meant for me to find a pot of gold Then I'ma get it And if we ain't start together Nigga, we ain't gon' never eat We won together when I was broke My nigga, we ain't gon' never be Never be, never be
again, Celestial, Matt, Q Migo, and Kizzo Castellano. Uh, that song you can find on Street Plug Radio. It's fire. I love it. I feel like you have a tongue twister saying it every time, though. Castellano? Because I want to say Castellano or Castellano because the two L's mm-hmm. and the whole, like, it looks like it's supposed to be, you know, I don't know. That's what Spanish those two L's make the Y sound, mm-hmm. so I always mess up. Anyways, my bad. I, I don't know how to speak Spanish. You know, I just took a little bit in high school. It Parts of it keep surfacing for some reason. I don't Randomly, know. you'll just Randomly, remember that's how you say that? That's basically true, though. I'll hear somebody say something. Like, oh, no, I know what they said. I actually know what they said. Anyways, we have a special guest about to join us. We're going to go ahead and call him because he is going to join us remotely. Let's go ahead and get him on the line now. Where are you? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? New York. You have reached the voice. Oh, he oh. went straight to voicemail. He declined your O oh, because he was texting me. Go ahead and run that back. I'm going to need him to answer the phone so that we can get him on here. I'm going to need him. He probably got like Sprint or some shit for it to go to voicemail while you texting. That's disrespectful. <laughs> Don't come at him like that. You don't know what he got. You ain't got we got to ask him now. Like that. We all got to ask now. Uh uh-uh. uh. Run that. I'm a bill collector. <laughs> it's too early for normal people to be calling. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? This is Bia with Champagne oh. Mornings. Hey, how y'all doing today? Glad to be on. How y'all feeling? Doing pretty good. You, uh, well, it's later over there. You're in New York, huh? Huh? Yeah. yeah well, I'm currently, currently in, um, in Milwaukee on business at the moment. But yeah, technically it is. It's still early, actually, though. To be honest with you, we, it's, it's a, you know it's not that late. It's still the morning time. It's, you know, New York could be about ten something right now. Okay, okay, yeah. It's seven twenty here. Most of the time, we'd be having our guests. They'd be having to get up nice, bright, and early because they'd be over here on the west coast <laughs> with us. They'd be talking shit all the right, way right, right. start through That's the right. show yeah. and everything. Right, so. right, wipe the wipe the coal out the eyes and everything. You know? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> right. We are right. live right now. Go ahead and let the people know your name and a little bit about you. All right. So for those who don't know, um, my name is Bernard Henry. Most known by my artist name, Billboard Freshington. Um, I'm a comic author. Um, I'm also a um, an artist as far as a music artist and um, a, a game of personality. But right now, what I want to take the time out to do is talk about uh, the comic book that my my first series that I launched last year called Storm Force, The Becoming War. Uh, it's about seven female superheroes who are space voyagers who get sent on a space mission by the government. And the entire mission does not go as planned. So if <laughs> people want to, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's kind of intense. So if people want to... Um, find out more about the story it's for sale um right now currently on my website at www.aicomics.us that's www.aicomics.us um i just want to segue i guess pretty much to to, um you know let people know you know what what inspired me and you know as far as writing and everything and um I just pretty much I, I wanted to go outside of the I would say a cultural norm mm-hmm. where you know everybody expects if you a person of color or a black or a black person you automatically doing music or you in the sports and um, anything outside of that you know you just trickle on down get in where you get in where you fit in with the societal norms or whatever right mm-hmm. but what I wanted to do was just give a different perspective on what it is that black people could do. Um, there's not too many black authors out there. Uh, definitely none that's like mainstream, at least like that. Um, at least that I can't, you know, that I really could think yeah. of uh, off oh, the top yeah. of my head. You're definitely right huh? there a lot. I said you're definitely right there. A lot of uh, a lot of the more famous black authors are already famous for other reasons. And then they mm-hmm. wrote like autobiographies or things like that that inspired people. Right. And that's how they become. But to just... Be a black author. Uh, we've had some submissions, but um, I, I agree mm-hmm, with you. Mm-hmm. It's, it's about 
letting them see what they don't think is normal because black people do these kind of things exactly day, right but they don't know that because they're exactly. not in the community so bringing that to light is definitely a good thing so i agree with you yeah yeah and it's you know and i believe like i said it's about setting uh different societal standards uh especially for the younger generation uh as you for those who don't know also um, i work with kids with special needs as well i do mentoring with kids and right. on all sorts of levels as well too so it's you know it it, it means a lot more to me on, on on another level just to be able to be an example and to expand in minds mm-hmm. of of those who are watching especially for my culture you know, if, if, if same thing, kind of like, you know, what Obama did. He didn't do anything, but he did one thing right, which was at least expand the mind of, you know, our culture, those who, you know, the younger ones who might have seen him and made me inspired to be something outside of certain restrictions that society tries to put on our culture for the most part, you know? Yeah, and um, that's so, kind of what our show is, too. We bring a lot of, we bring a lot of fun topics, but... Obviously, you're on here. We do our book review Wednesdays. And We've done financial mm-hmm. literacy. We do financial literacy. We do a lot of things to kind of bring in mm-hmm. just our normal life. Like, you can have fun. You can handle business. You can be about a lot more. Yeah. And that's really important. But not to get too much on us, back to you. Your name of your <laughs> comic book, Storm Force. Storm is listed as an mm-hmm. acronym. What does it stand for? Um, it stands for the Surveillance Tactical Operation Recon military. Ooh, that's okay. dope. So I know, right? It sounds extra intense, you know. So <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, you know. But uh, it, you know, and that's another thing too. Like being that the characters is all female superheroes, mm-hmm. like that's another, uh, you know, stigma that's going to be shattered as well. You know, because like you don't really see a lot of. You don't really see any all female superhero groups out there. You may see superhero groups in general, like the Avengers, the Justice League, X Men, etc. But it's you know it's co-ed essentially, you know. Yeah. And so I wanted to do something also just as different, which was get an all female superhero squad, which I feel like, like I said, never been done. Squad goals. Although shout out to Netflix, I just seen that they coming out with like an all black. Um, the you know, African superhero cartoon, girl. like Little yeah. Girls or something like that. I've seen it um, like that. Yeah, yeah, I, I briefly kind of, I didn't really look too deep into it, but I think that's pretty dope, um, you know, just seeing that as well, too. So, I mean, but, but that just goes to show you those norms are being pushed right now. You know, this is think, this is thought that, you know, females also are too into comic books, but, you know, that's being changed. And same thing with black people, like, you know, it's it's, it's an energy that people really just think is whitewashed. And like I said, um, it's just time to, you know, change perspectives, man. I mean, we see just the outrage whenever there's some sort of superhero who is, uh, who's black. And, you know, when they tried to make Superman black, not so much, not so much try, there's actually is a black Superman. Um, there's a black version of the Superman, which most people don't know about, but, um, when Michael B. Jordan was being, you know, they, he was in talks of being that, playing that role, there was outrage, you know? Mm-hmm. You see the outrage that Black Panther had created, you know? And so, as the list will go on and on, it just seems like whenever we try to have some sort of imprint, and that's pretty much almost anywhere in society, but we're talking about comics right now, it just seems to be like as if we're intruding, you know? So we got to change that, and I feel like I'm a part of that change, you know, and so I'm excited to be able to do something like that. Um, you, you know, I'm, I'm anticipating just to see what it is that, you know, so far I've been getting really, really good reviews, you know, just like I said, um, you know, doing this interview with y'all, appreciated CBS 58 in Milwaukee out here, Radio 88.9 in Milwaukee. So, you know, things have been really just on the up and up as a great with the media and, um, I know it's just going to continue to keep the ball rolling. So it's, just, it's it's about that time, you know. It's time just to push barriers, and I'm just as excited to be a part of that and just, and put my own uh, handprint and footprint within uh, this industry in my own way, doing it on my own terms, and doing and, and while I'm doing it, looking good while I'm doing it too. <laughs> <laughs> Big facts. And- 
Handprint footprint, y'all gonna see me here stunting. I, I love it. I love it. And then, like you said, representation yes, matters. Uh, when you mentioned Black Panther, uh, my cousin, mm -hmm. he also has a show. It's called The Reese Show. And he was talking about on his show um, about how he got into a conversation with some people who were saying, like, you know, when you talk about representation matters, mm -hmm. and does it really matter? Mm -hmm. or does it not matter? And how much it does mm -hmm. is like he'd never seen. Um, his daughter, for example, when he took her to go see the Black Panther, um, it, mm. it kind of changed her life. It made her think like, okay, she could, she might actually have fun being an actress if she wanted to be an actress and opened her mind right, to other right. things that she had never even thought about because she, if you don't see other people that look like you doing certain things, you're never really going to, you're never going to really put it in your mind. It's a subconscious thing. Um, just right. like back in the day mm -hmm. when I used to love Gabrielle Union. Gabrielle Union was one of the first, to me, black, dark-skinned, black female actresses that were getting, you know, roles that were intriguing to me. Yeah, so, she did a lot right, of different. Right, she's played right. cheerleader. She's, mm -hmm. played, she's played almost every role you can think of. She's been in the scary movies and all of that. She was making things happen and showing you could be anywhere. Yep. And so, yeah, So sure. I got to ask you, are you a Marvel or a DC fan? Oh, I'm Team Marvel hard. Definitely. <laughs> team Marvel all day. But if I could just piggyback, and then we'll go back to that topic real quick. You hit you hit right on the head with the, you know, you made a really good point with, with like what you said. You said, is that your cousin now that brought his, his daughter yeah. to the movie to see it? Yes. Huh? Yes, my cousin. Okay. So, you know, there's some, you know, that's called subliminal messaging, right? Mm -hmm. And just think about just how deep that, that is in your subconscious where, you know, yeah, you might have been a fan, but all your life, all this is all you've been seeing is just one particular image. And then just, you know, how surprising it is when you finally see an image that you could relate to. Right. And meanwhile, there's so much support um, from both all cultures, you know. Yeah. And so it should, it, it, that should not be a thing where we're surprised to see um a cultural identity, you know, within, you know, any industry, but, you know, especially the comic industry as well. So that, that unto itself has always been an issue to me, just off the fact that we, that we're just, it's, we feel almost just, I mean, look at the, when that Black Panther movie came, I mean, people had the dashikis on, they had the drums, they, I mean, you, there's never been like a movie, Marvel movie that's been that celebrated, but that just goes to show just how much appreciation was shown as far as us seeing something like that. Mm -hmm. And Definitely. that, when I saw that, I, I was just like, man, there's the amount of joy that that was. But I was like, if this was a normal thing, it wouldn't even be that. It wouldn't have been, it had, wouldn't even been something that was that epic. But look at just how epic it, you know, we made it seem. Now, even though there was all black, you know, all black characters, uh, all black, you know, directors had a there's a huge black uh, staff just in general. I wish it would have been black funded, but you know, um, Marvel and Disney essentially just capitalized off of that hard well, they, body. Well, we, and, we talk and, about all the time. Disney basically owns everything. You know, Disney's mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. right I don't now, see how it's legal. Right now, you have well, a lot of it is not because that's why they they're have to selling. Sell, they have to sell so many of their sports stations right now because they recently acquired ESPN. So right now mm -hmm. they have the monopoly in sports, um, and so they're mm -hmm. being forced to sell a lot of their uh, a lot of their local sports channel, which is what Ice Cube and Magic Johnson is trying to purchase, like a good twenty seven yep. of those yeah. right now. But um. Thank you for tuning in to Champagne Mornings. We appreciate you coming on. Tell everybody where to find you again, your social media, all of that. Yeah. Um, you can find me on Instagram at billboard underscore B. That's B-I-L-L-B-O-A-R-D underscore B. You can find me on Facebook at Billboard Freshington. That's B-I-L-L-B-O-A-R-D. Freshington is spelled F R E S H. I N G T O N. Also, um, check out the website. We got it's still sweater season. You know, we still got you know at least the rest of this month to go get you a little sweater so you can still rock it before it starts getting extra hot. But even then, when we that temperature changed, I'm gonna have some tees up there, tank tops. 
hats and everything. I got sneakers, socks, the whole nine. Oh. The website is, okay. yeah, yeah. I mean, we're going to get you real fresh out here, the Harlem style, you know? Right, so, um, we here in Washington yeah, State, so we wear know. sweaters all season. Right, so, <laughs> even even oh, yeah, in the gonna... summertime, we're going to have some cold days, so we might need to cop those for sure. Oh, man, we got, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, and then, you know, yeah, definitely, that will be a good look, and um uh, I'm gonna have, and I'll have something for y'all on the side too, just you know, for having me as well, you know. So, um, but the website is www.aicomics.us, and uh, thank you for having me again. I appreciate it. Um, this was a very important topic, you know. I feel like to definitely bring the light and timely, you know, the Avengers movies coming out this this weekend anyway. I'm so, so excited! Yeah. Make sure you stay tapped in with us when you have upcoming projects and releases. Uh, you know, we want to make sure we're continuing oh, yeah. support. And, you know, if we're ever out there, we'll probably link up with you as well. Community service is really important to us. I know you mentioned that you work with um, the kids mm. and autism and things like that. So yeah. if we're ever out there, yeah. we can link up and help with that in any kind of way. Uh, shout out to that because April's about to be over and April was Autism Awareness Month, which yeah. we talked about earlier. So, oh, that's um, nice. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I might have to make a trip out there to Washington too. And also, though, I'm working on a cartoon. So we, um, me and the team, is developing a trailer, and um, we're going to be setting up a crowdfunding campaign for the cartoon. Uh, so look out for that. That's the current project that I'm working on as we speak. You know, getting a cartoon ready, and um, you know, we, we just we just progressing and just. So is the, the cartoon bar based here. off of also comics, or is it a total different concept? Uh, now the cartoon is going to be based off of the uh, Stone Force, the Stone Force uh, team that I okay. that oh, I pretty much cool. created. Yep. Yeah. So this one's going to be pretty ill. So it's going to be able to bring the visuals to that. Uh, just you know, just bring a whole another life to it. And you know, the dope part about it too is that um, I'll be making the uh, you know soundtrack for that. I got beats, you know, so. I'll be able to make sound the soundtracks for that. So it's, it's bringing in, um, I, I, you know, I'm just a plug with, you know, with the whole thing. So I'm, you know, just being able to showcase another, another creative uh, side of myself. And so uh, that'll be pretty ill because you know I, I am working on some projects musically as well. So I plan on getting that up in there too. So, okay. you know, so it's a lot more in the future. So I'll definitely. I'll definitely be um, keeping you in the loop. We all locked in. I got y'all locked in for sure. Yeah. And I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a great morning. Thanks. You Thank too. You for tuning into Champagne Mornings again, you guys. Make sure you guys follow him. We'll throw all his personal information up on our Instagram as well. Champagne Morning Show on Instagram. Thank you again. We'll go ahead and let you go. And please, please stay tapped in with us. You already know. <laughs> all right. Bye. All right. Peace. All right. So make sure you guys stay tapped in. Black literacy, it's important. Um, and it can be fun. Yeah, hey, I thought books. it was dope. It's a comic book. Like, your kids love comic books. Right? And, and like we were talking about, representation is so, so, so important. So uh, you guys, make sure you guys support him, support what he's doing. Check out his website. Buy his stuff. Love I'm going to go cop me a hoodie. I'm about to go to the website right now, actually. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a song. The name of this song is Whole Team by Cameron Chanel. It's always a move. Uh-huh. Can we too cold tap in like a motherfucker? Whole team. Bitch, my whole team. Yeah. Ay. 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 Whole team pretty. Whole team shit and whole team winning. No i
and you ain't got no money, broke bitch. Are you still talking? Pull up gang stupid on these hoes while y'all still walking low. Ho, stop them chasing bags you ain't never seen. OP up the gang, my be a click. Yeah, you know the thing. Pretty is what pretty does. What you need, I got that. He call me the pluggers. When I plug him, he gon' call back. Going like a rocket, bitch. I'm popping like a bottle, huh? Low pretty bitch, yeah, she gon' pop it when the bottom's up. Straight to the back. What you got? Tell him, give me that. I don't want your nigga. Break your nigga. Then I send him back. is like one of my favorite songs of hers just because the whole mood nigga you yeah. ain't on my team if you ain't winning big facts um so we're gonna wrap up champagne mornings again we appreciate you guys for tapping into us um i mean our special guest was the black business of the day i would say yeah make our sure special guys, guest definitely was yeah make sure you guys tap in with him his comics again his website was a i comics dot us and on there, you can find his merchandise, his comics, look at his characters, uh, and make sure you guys tap in with them. Um, make sure you guys follow us on all of our social media, Street Club DJs on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube. YouTube, same everywhere. Make sure you follow our personal Instagrams. My name is Bia underscore King. Mine's is at Pretty Simple Key. Pretty simple, right? Pretty simple. And then also champagne morning show on instagram again thank you guys for tapping in this is episode 63 y'all if you guys know anything about us you know we're gonna be going big for episode 100 that's not too far away and our guests are locked in and they all ain't got no common motherfucking sense it's going down so make sure you guys stay tapped in with us we appreciate you 